Hey guys, it's Mr. B. I'm not in the Classic Drive TV shops today. Today we've stopped by to uh, Arthur Gould Rebuilders. So what happens if you're working on your, your, your classic car and you got a specialized water pump, uh, something really uh, that's not available as a reproduction or a rebuild, what do you what do? You do? Well, uh, at Arthur Gould here, uh, they, uh, they work on water pumps and fuel pumps and some very obscure stuff. So if you want to keep your original pump or if you're trying to rebuild something that you got, this is the place to go. So uh, let's uh, bring in Parker here. Uh, Tell us a little bit about what you do here at Arthur Gould. So what we do here is uh, we find folks that have cars that want their original equipment or they want to keep their numbers matching water pump or fuel pump on their car. We will take those pumps apart and clean them, rebuild them with new modern parts, sealed bearings, new seals, and put them back together and send them back to their owner so they can put them back on their car. So uh, maybe, for example, I found a, a matching parts car in a junkyard. Mm -hmm. uh, my water pump's no good or I'm missing. I can take that one off. It's really probably not something I want to do on my bench at home. I don't have the parts. I can send that off to you, and you guys will clean it up, put it back together, put new seals in it, and take it back to me. Absolutely. Show us a Absolutely. little bit about what this is all about. So just as a, prime, as a great example of your it's, uh, an example of your description just now is a pump that came off of a well-used um, engine, obviously many years of use, dirty, grimy, bearings are shot. I mean, it, that's ugly. I certainly wouldn't, you wouldn't want to trust something like that in your car. Right. So when we get pumps in like this, first thing we do is we take a few measurements so that we can put everything back together so that your pulleys and fan line back up the way they were. All right. We take the pumps apart, we clean them and degrease them. After we degrease them, we glass bead the housings, wow. inspect the housings, make sure the housings are free of cracks or any other damage. If sure. there is damage, we can weld here. We do have an ability to cast iron weld. After we get done with the cleaning process, a lot of the post-war era cars, we can put a modern unitized seal. And these are great seals. These press fit into the housings. Right. And they press fit onto the new bearings. Versus the old seals with the with the rope, with packing. The rope packing in there, and and you know those always were, you know they would leak, and you take them apart, and those they, are tough to put together if you're trying to do it on your, if you don't do it every day. And those need yearly maintenance. They do. You know they these these are kind of one and done. You run it until it doesn't it doesn't go anymore. Uh, so basically, know. takes your modern. Uh, your fuel, your, your water pump or your fuel pump brings it to a modern level. Right, right, right exactly. You know, here's a case here where we've got a bearing that this one's just locked up solid. It's rusted. It, it's no good. So, so when we get pump bearings like that, we have the ability to buy new ones made in America. And we'll put your pump back together with modern seals. Uh, you know, again, a lot of cases, the original seals are rusted, right. cracked, damaged. Sure. Usually this is the most often failure. The bearing failure usually occurs once the seal has failed and then the water gets right. saturated into the bearing. Right, it gets the corrosion in there from the oxygen in the water. And, and a lot of times what people do is they live, with a, they live with a leak on their floor and then eventually makes more of a catastrophic failure. Until your water pump locks up while you're coming back from the car show. Exactly. You know, we've it, all been there where you're, you're coming back on a ramp truck. And yeah. It's not a lot of fun. <laughs> not a lot of fun. Uh, so. Uh, mainly, these are not your off-the-shelf pumps. Correct. This is not something that you're going to get at uh, Pep Boys of Napa or one of those places. These are pumps that are hard to find. Correct. Correct. And, and, and you, you guys kind of take those, bring them back to life. So if you're restoring a car, if you've got a project in your shop uh, and it needs a water pump and you can't get one, uh, get a hold of Arthur Gould and, 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 and they can probably fix the parts one that you've got. Pretty much anything from the turn of the century to, to present day we can do. Places like this are great because we spend so much time in the shop working on our projects and searching around. You can search all over eBay, you can do all kinds of stuff, but you just never know what you're going to get. And a lot of times you don't know what you're going to get that may have been rebuilt but maybe 30 years ago. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you may find that the seals are a little dry, the grease is congealed a little bit, you know, especially if it's a packing pump. 
you know, the rope packing could be too firm now and it's not going to make a tight seal. E and even something that's a new old stock part in a box when it's been sitting on the shelf can, can have issues. It can dry Just out. because it's new old stock doesn't mean that it's going to be a good pump. Absolutely. Yeah, especially when they've been sitting around. Absolutely. And of course, wait a minute, water pump, you know, critical, especially if you've got, uh, you, you know, if you've got an engine that's uh, semi-precious or precious, the last thing you want to do is overheat the car. Exactly. Sure, exactly. sure. Tell us, uh, what are the most common types of pumps that come in through the door here? So the most common pumps that we see are the pumps that are not available. Things so, you cannot get. Unob so, we call it unobtainium. Unobtainium. Yeah. So yeah. We, see, we see a lot of... Um, pre-war car mm -hmm. pumps, sure. Buick, uh, Packard, um, you know, uh, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, uh, Chrysler, Dodge, a lot of the pre-war stuff because there isn't a big f aftermarket for those pumps. Right. So we do see a lot of that. We see a lot of guys that are doing correct numbers matching restorations that want to do their original pump back on their car. So if I want my factory water pump on the front of my factory 427, I can send that over here and you can repack Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And that way we can guarantee that that engine is not only matching numbers, it's got the matching we also get we also get a lot of the, and we also get a lot of the truck guys, the guys that are doing fire truck restorations, American La Francis. Really? You know, uh, we see a lot of fire departments that have their vehicles for parade use and around town oh. musters and that sort of thing. Sure. They'll send us their pumps for rebuild because they don't get it a lot of use. And, and as any car guy knows, you let your car sit, that's the worst thing yeah, for Yeah, I mean, your water pump, especially if it's parked in your garage or your shop or wherever you keep your cars, you, you know, the, the cooling system is one of the first things to suffer some catastrophic failures. I mean, you can see from the inside of this one, that uh, certainly that has had a few miles on it. But, a few uh, miles and a lot of water lot just of water. sitting. <laughs> yeah, just sitting for years. Um, if I get a pump like that, it's seized up, uh, that kind of thing. I don't touch it. I'm going to send it right into you. Absolutely. Yeah. And don't, and guys, don't try to make something move that isn't in a state to move. The worst thing you could do. Make more damage. Force that. Yep. Break the impeller. Break the shaft. You could do a lot of things. Crack and, the housing. Then you can say, oh, it can spray some WD-40 or one of those no brand penetrating ones, but you're still not going to get anywhere in the end because the inside of the pump is going to be a mess. Absolutely. And, sure. and the key to any good pump rebuild is having the right tools. We have everything here set up so we can streamline our, pro our production and get your pump turned around and quickly and as efficiently as possible. If, if, I get a, if I get a block and I'm tearing it apart or an engine and I don't have quite all the pumps, parts from my pump, do you have parts available? We do. We do have a lot of pumps available. Uh, we are not a exchange program. We will rebuild your pump unless, of course, you send us a pump that has damage. Right. So you don't sell water pumps? No. At all? No. What they do is they take whatever you have guys and they put it back together and here's a great example I mean this is on its way to being completed yep this is this one was just completed earlier today this has a new bearing a new seal the housing was cleaned just like this housing was and then we true up the hub so that when you do bolt your fan or your pulley back onto the hub nice. it's gonna spin straight nice and balanced exactly. Yeah, exactly and you can see now how nice and smooth the operation of this pump is no noise no howl no and, binding. And it it's looks, ready to looks go. looks great, too. And it looks ready to go. And we put everything with just a cast finish on here, so you can paint it to match your engine, right. whatever that may be. And, and it doesn't matter, aluminum, cast, bronze, it makes no difference? No, nope, it doesn't make any difference. And, and we give everything with a one-year warranty. Well, there you go. So, See? So there you go. If you, if you have a water pump, if you're struggling with a, a leaky water pump and you just can't find one, or if you have a parts one that you're, you want to put together, get a hold of Arthur Gould Rebuilders online. You got a website? Yep, ArthurGouldRebuilders.com. Arthur Build Re ArthurGouldRebuilders.com. See, I can't even say it, but uh, we'll put a link in the description down below. But they don't just do water pumps here. So we're going to take a look at something else here uh, that they also do. And uh, trust me, it's, uh, it's something that everybody needs. So we'll be right back. All right, so, you know, one of the most important things other than water pumps, of course, is going to be your fuel pump. Uh, you know, this I can't imagine how many times even uh, working at uh, over at the Classic Drive TV shops, we've had issues with fuel pumps. We've got a lot of old cars over there. The diaphragms get worn out. The, the fuel nowadays is terrible, uh, really ruins everything. So uh, if you have a, a, a Classic uh, and, and, and you, you need a fuel pump but you can't get it, or you just want a really great rebuild on your fuel pump, uh, one of the other things they do here at Arthur Gould is that. Uh, Parker, why don't you join me? Talk about a little bit about uh, uh, fuel pumps. There's some unique stuff here on the bench. So what we do here is folks send us in their mechanical fuel pumps, and we take apart and inspect the fuel pumps. 
And as you can see, uh, they come in in all different uh, uh, degrees of wear and tear. Typical 50 years under the hood kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. You know, the corrosion. I mean, these are mostly all cast aluminum. So you've got a lot of issues here. If the, if the pump was subjected to moisture, you're going to have sure. corrosion. You're going to have dried up diaphragms, oh, which the, the, how many times have you seen this? The old di yeah, you can that, crack it like that, a potato chip. It's getting chip. ready to break in half. You sure, know? sure. So <clears throat> what we find a lot of times is guys just want to have their original pump rebuilt and put back on the car so they can use it again reliably. Right. Um, the biggest killer nowadays too is also the ethanol. Terrible, terrible stuff. And I know a lot of people when they, you know, I know there are guys out there that have put uh, electric fuel pumps in, the, in, their, in their classic vehicles because they, maybe they're a little bit dependable, but they want to go back to the original stock thing, mm -hmm. but they can't depend on the pumps that are, you know, that they have available to them or they just don't have the right diaphragms or that kind of stuff. But if you, if you send your pump over here to Arthur Gould, then it's going to come back uh, just like it came from the factory. Just right? like new, same, sure. same thing here. We're going to take your pump apart. We're going to inspect it. And you can see this pump here we just got in today. Looks we tough. just started disassembling it. It's filthy. It's grimy. But... Once we finish cleaning it and uh, go through our, our, our two-step cleaning process of uh, degreasing and sandblasting, uh, it will come back to its original look. And, and, and uh, th this is a pump that just uh, just kind of arrived today or, or is uh, uh, fresh today, yes. correct? So this yes. is a fresh rebuild. And uh, looking at this, you really, you can't even tell. This looks like it came right out of the new old stock package. This was a gentleman who wanted his original pump for his Dodge, and we were able to take the pump apart. And even though it has a little bit of wear and tear on the outside of the housing, it has those original markings. Yeah, and that's, that's what's critical here. Sure. A lot of guys want their original marking pumps back on their cars. Are there aftermarket pumps out there? Sure, but they don't look the same as right. the originals. That's the right. original markings are the key. So again, we're taking your pump that you supply us and rebuilding your pump. If um, you know, I mean, this is something that if, you, if you're doing a concourse vehicle, you cannot have anything that doesn't belong on the car, and 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 to have your original or a new old stock original on mm -hmm. the car is cru crucial. Um, you know, so whether it's a concourse car, a hot rod, uh, your favorite mm -hmm. uh, old classic that you put together, um, you're always going to have fuel system issues. And I will caution anybody out there that if you buy a new old stock fuel pump, do not just put it on your car and expect it to work. It may work for the first couple of days, even the first couple of weeks, but I guarantee you, once the modern fuel touches it, after a while... It's going to turn into a, a, a mushy mess, and so it's not going to pump. What do we do now with all of the new additives in the gasoline? It, what do we do to help at least ease that problem? Because I know it's a constant issue, uh, especially with the, with classics. I mean, are the diaphragms that you, you're putting in any different? The diaphragm material that we use is an ethanol-resistant material. Aha. Uh -huh. So the and what we are doing is we're taking our ethanol resistant material and we're stamping it out on our own dyes that we had custom made for just about every fuel pump application out there. So when your pump comes in, your diaphragm is being made that day. Well, there you go. So see, these aren't diaphragms off the shelf. These are diaphragms custom made here at Arthur, Arthur Gould. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's an interesting thing to, to learn because this is something that ethanol is not going to eat up. Correct. So this will last a long time in your fuel pump. It will. And again, we offer a one year warranty on all of our fuel pumps. So if you do have a problem, give us a call and we'll take care of wow, it. Wow, that's really great. So if you guys are out there and you're putting your, your classic together, if you already got your classic together and it's been sitting and all of a sudden the diaphragm and the fuel pump's gone, or as we just talked about, the uh, bearings in the water pump mm -hmm. go, or the impeller gets stuck, or anything like that, or the gaskets go in that, right. this is the place to send it. They have, uh, you know, I'm looking around here, there are a ton of fuel pump parts here, and uh, it looks like they've probably taken apart pretty much one of everything. Chances are, if you're missing a part off of your pump, we probably have it. Yeah, that's, um, that's really really great uh, especially now you know with the non-ethanol uh, 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 diaphragms that right. can go in there that means you can have a little put a little faith behind the fuel pump and every pump gets a new fuel pump valve which we have also made in the United States Wow um, all the common size valves we can have made and then even the early you guys with the early cars with the wafer valves we have those made as well they get the wafer here and the and the uh, spring which would basically serve as the check valve. This, this unitized unit replaced that early style check valve. And those are made, uh, you have those made here in yep, America? Yep, we do. That's really great. So yeah. everything we do, and even including the gaskets, everything we have made, we have died cut to match the original. So everything fits just like it should. Right, right. So there you go. There you have it. So fuel pumps, water pumps, always an issue. Mm -hmm. Whether you whether you know you, you got a, a run aboard car, a car from the 50s, it really doesn't matter what you're working on. You, those are 
I know two of the biggest headaches we have are cooling and fuel. Uh, we're always constantly on top of that stuff. And, and, and one of the biggest problems with the, both of those systems is the fact that, you know, let's face it, a lot of these cars, there's a lot of downtime. We only show them a little bit, a couple of shows every year. We don't drive them a lot, uh, you know, especially uh, here in the Northeast where we right. are. We have and seasonal they, driving. We have seasonal <laughs> driving. And then, of course, we have, you know, the temperature, you know, in the summertime, it's 100. In the wintertime, it's, it's, it's minus 10. So uh, if you if you got a fuel pump uh, or a water pump and uh, you're not sure what to do and you're having issues, you can't find anything on the shelf, uh, you're going to go to ArthurGould.com and uh, they're going to take care of you. And the other thing is you guys with those vacuum wiper motors that have the dual action fuel pumps, uh -huh. you can do these as well. These obviously boost your vacuum signal for your wiper motor. So you have your fuel section here on the bottom and your vacuum section here. Again, we die cut all the diaphragms for these pumps as well. So we can do them all. Dual action uh, fuel pumps, single action fuel pumps, the early style with the glass bowl or the single action later model fuel pumps without the glass bowl. We, we, we can pretty much got you covered when it comes to mechanical screw together right. style of fuel pumps. Right. right, Very old school but very necessary uh, you know when, when you're rebuilding or restoring a car. You know these are critical items and a lot of times like you said somebody gets a new old stock one maybe they got one from their uncle it's been on the shelf for 30 years he scavenged it out of somewhere it looks really good on the outside but the first thing you're gonna do is, is take that little pieces of that diaphragm and send them right up into the carburetor. More than likely. Yeah, yeah, and then you're in for a bigger and bigger headache down the road, yep. sure. So, exactly. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Arthur Gould. Dot com, correct? Yep. We'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, this is Mr. B. I'm here at Arthur Gould, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit.